what we're doing is we're just hopping, we're going to just come, we lean forward and we're just going to drive, 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 okay? But what you notice about that, everything is da, da, everything is together. So let me give you a starting position, one leg forward, one leg back. Now, if you've got the left leg forward or the right leg forward, it's the opposite hand. Okay, and what I want you to do is keep your sternum forward, drive, and then you just drive into it. Okay. The, the key point to this little drill is the arm. Because without driving them, nothing really happens. Yeah, so when you exaggerate, even if you get it up there, I don't care. Exaggerate it. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, you ready? Go. Drive, drive, drive. So what you've just seen is hopping. In my day when I was an athlete, it was called bounding. The great thing about that particular drill is it helps to coordinate everything going through the body so that you actually get some height off the ground. Your sternum is pointed forward, your arms are driving, and they are the engines that are really driving the knees up. The great thing about that as a drill on its own is it actually makes you stronger and makes you better at running. Once somebody can really master the bounding side or the hopping side of this, then the running side becomes a lot easier. It's one of the big drills I think that influences running the most because it helps people to really understand where they are in space as they're driving through. It helps to understand what the coordination is because if you come out of sync, then it just doesn't happen. So that's why it's a really good drill to do.